Hi, Amaira. How are you doing? Oh, we both are wearing yellow. We are wearing yellow. Let me just adjust yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're adjusting. Okay. So, Amaira, tell me how many days of you know staying at home. Mm, well, uh, yeah, mm. I've been at home since Thursday last week. So, okay. um, because my dad's a doctor, so he's okay. working at Bhatia. So he actually told me way before that uh, he will mm. stop speaking to me if I step out okay. <laughs> anytime soon. And I live What? alone, and I haven't seen my parents. I missed my mother's birthday on the twenty fifth of March, but we all got on a con call and FaceTimed her, and she's never done it before, so it was a lot of fun. trying okay. to make her use the app and everything but um yeah it's been uh, listen i'm an introvert for so no. honestly this for me is like normal i'm just like that's right you're happy you're in a happy space i you mean i think you have life. to be huh. you have to be you know like that's mentally true. i know like uh, first of all i have anxiety issues major anxiety yeah. issues so I if i don't stay thoda you know just thanda i will go mm. insane and like i said mm. since i live alone it is not easy like my maid bichari she got so upset with me she's like didi main saaf karungi aap room mein raho ya kuch bhi kar i'm so bored so yeah. i need to do something so you are you are also into room cleaning and you know house cleaning as of now i am ocd so like when i'm not yeah. home okay. she's she's kind of like chill and everything but when i'm home if i feel like even a, and now with the virus and all i have bought like your hospital sanitizer things to clean like you know that they used to clean wow. the scalpels and all yeah i'm ocd i am okay i i think that's good also in a way because you know keeping the house clean completely oh and and how because at the end of the day i mean need, yeah at this Just moment do we don't need that you know somewhere but don't you think somewhere you know after a point it does get boring to be at home you know for the longest time somewhere you know because it 21 is, days is a lot now you know we are just we are counting days and you know people are making you, do you really think it's only going to be 21 days though no i doubt i really doubt i highly doubt but of course like you know just feeling like okay chalo theek hai 21 days kaise chalne wale hai types and all mm-hmm. and the memes i'm sure you might be seeing all these yeah. memes and all which are coming it's on the it's the only thing that's platform. keeping me like yeah you guys you guys should actually post more memes because i follow you all and i need to see more happy things and like <laughs> and i love how you guys have also been controlling this whole quarantine because you're actually making us like get a little busy and yeah. i mean that that means a lot because trust me like now having to get ready and everything i'm like oh i'm going live on bombay yeah. time so i have to look good you know it keeps you sort of <laughs> yeah in that sort of in that space, space well. kind of yeah, yeah. works please actually so tell me like you know which all films of yours have been on hold you know after because of this you know um oh, so i was starting so a new happened. project actually which i can't really talk about i was going to announce this month but that's okay but <laughs> okay. um um we finished standard and that's an mm. amazon series and even right now dongri to dubai has been halted i think all shoots have just been halted right now at the end of the day even my tamil film with prabhu deva master has been stalled just mm. and i was supposed to go to shoot with them on the 15th of march and i'm so glad that you know they they postponed it because i would have been stuck in chennai then yeah so Thank at the end of the day i mean here at least i i feel like the film industry specifically has been very smart because a lot of shoots were stalled way before the lockdown was announced to be honest But I somehow feel that you know I hope because the way we are containing it also you know of course very few cases of you know people dying have come across, of course the cases are increasing also but somewhere the way we are containing it I feel like you know there are signs of improvement uh, taking place I feel that's a good thing we are on I, the road to recovery. I mean we're definitely listening now. because my area is a ghost town and uh, i've called up a lot of my friends i've called up a lot of my like other friends who are in like my brother is working in london so he's okay. been telling me how it is there as well so he's hmm. like babe everything is just under lockdown and it's about yeah. time because at the end of the day this is a person to person disease it's not just yeah. airborne it's it's That's very true. contagious it's very infectious and we have yeah. to stay at home So, also, like, did you like, see this news about, like, you know, uh, of you know, a uh, coronavirus being discussed in a Netflix series two years back, and like, you know, that uh, called pandemic. Uh, yeah, about Is about the coronavirus. Pandemic? Listen, yeah. I can't watch these things. So my friends told me to watch Contagion and Pandemic. Yeah. I'm like, are you guys mad? And they you were know, like, you know, like, uh, all these things have been revealed some, like, you know, two three years ago, and like, you know, uh, so and then how the book comes, that yeah. was written forty years ago. um okay. or, or and there was another book that was also written 12 years ago by a british author and she said she actually yeah. called it wuhan no. 400 oh 
Okay. That's the name of the of the virus. So it's, it's very it funny to see. Huh. It talks about how in China, huh. in Wuhan specifically, there huh. was going to be a sort of uh, like biological weapon that was going huh. to be created, and they called hmm. it Wuhan 400. So okay. it's really weird that researchers and authors and all have actually written about this before, saying that there is uh, going to be something that is going to come from China and it's going to sort of be like one of those world destruction kind of uh, <laughs> things. So I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I, I I really feel sad to know this though, but I just hope like, but I I believe even in China, even in Wuhan, uh, things have uh, come under much control. better, apparently. much better than so- before. I was messaging one of my co-stars from Kung Fu Yoga, and I actually messaged my director yeah. as well. And I asked him, I was like, "How's everything there?" So yeah. one of them is in Shanghai, and the other one is in Beijing. So even he said he's like, "Now Wuhan is about seventy, eighty percent like clear, and I think they're going to open up Wuhan on the fourteenth yes. of April onwards. Okay. So or the or the eighth of April, something mm. like that. But Wuhan is pretty good now. That's nice." But yeah, uh, what cool. about, did you did you speak to you know any of the Chinese actors like did you speak to Chan, Jackie Chan about it like you no know, no no not him? yet I I messaged his assistant I wished my director well I feel hmm. like right now everyone is just in this sort of like hmm. self isolation yeah. and let's just like keep calm kind of thing especially uh, in China because at the end of the day I think it started there and right now they're facing a lot of grief from the world as well you can see that a lot of people are being very racist. and yeah. uh, coming up with some really funny memes but a little messed up as well so yeah. at the end of the day i mean all of us need to be a little more compassionate now guys that's true but also all the bollywood parties have now come to halt as well uh, are you a party person like that uh, you know amira <laughs> no like i've party? never been i i i think i like went to like one party like a couple of weeks ago and i was just like oh man socializing and social networking <laughs> and it's really really hard and now i'm just like sitting at home and i'm chatting and i'm catching up with my old school friends who i haven't spoken that's to nice, in years yeah. in years yeah. so it's it's nice yeah that that's a nice part of this i guess something isolation, isolation period is working for you completely What yeah, I'm making it work. Yeah. Um, What more plans well, do you have? So today I kind of like woke up thing. on the wrong side of the bed, though. I was just like, I'm not in the mood to function today. But uh, um, I'm just I'm staying fit, making sure I work out because I feel like releasing that kind of energy is very important as well. And the best way to do it is just work out, run up and down uh, your stairs if you have to. If you don't have like very tall buildings where you don't run into people. <laughs> And so uh, I have some questions for you Amira and I want you to answer these questions okay Okay so uh what do you like doing in your spare time Um I love watching movies I'm a movie maniac like a more a TV show maniac Okay and what genre attracts your attention Crime Crime okay crime. Do you like watching uh CID crime patrol or Um you know, I saw that CID yeah. <laughs> I mean, CID is not gaudy enough. I like blood yeah. and I like killing and I oh like murder. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, I like something that keeps me interested. You know, like huh. like so so Game of Thrones for me was <gasps> amazing, but not yeah, season yeah. eight. I I don't want to huh. talk about season eight. It was heartbreaking. But um, right now I just saw She on Netflix and I was okay. like, Have you seen it? Yeah. I've Did you see, love I've it? I've seen you. And I've you you is on the old man. So I I was like, what is wrong? Yeah, I know, no, no, no. What is wrong? Like, but how how long did you take to finish? She be honest. Uh, being very honest, uh, two days binge watching. That's when I finished it in a day. In a day. I like yeah because I have been sitting so at much. home since Thursday last week. Okay. I, so, I watched Knock yeah. Knock. Have you watched this movie? Knock Knock. I saw Knock Knock, but uh, oh. for our PG thirteen viewers, I would say you're not allowed to watch it. Yeah, oh, that is so scary. Yeah, that was messed up. But uh, one of the girls is now one of the big Bond girls. So, like, I mean, but still, it was just yeah, yeah it was weird as hell. It was one of the odd. I feel so bad for him. Poor uh, guy. I mean, yeah, he actually didn't deserve it. I wish like the yeah, main character. Yeah, because I don't think so. Yeah, he was I didn't get it. Responsible for it completely. Like yeah. you know, they actually uh, tempted they him. They did to, seduce know? him. Yeah, exactly. yeah, they seduced him a lot. I and feel like the they should have caught hold. Like the male protagonist should have been like sort of, pardon my language, but an ass, you know. Like yeah. I, I didn't find that. Like I found it really yeah. endearing. Yeah. Exactly. Poor guy. I felt very bad for him. And I when the family like, enters the home after all the mess has been oh, done. Oh, that poor wife and the kids. The kids, like 
how <laughs> could that messed up that's you? very bad <laughs> and the pictures what they have written in all oh god yeah that was, that was horrible really that, was, that was horrible but that was yeah really quite a weird you just didn't know what was going to happen in that film you're like yeah. what is going on i was getting scared you know i was re- really getting scared i was feeling bad for the guy though Oh, I was just saying, Mari, dalo ya, bichare ko. You know, like, matlab kya? Na. Okay, now my second question to you is, who is your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush. Oh, oh, you're making me think so much. Um, confession time. I'm trying to think of anyone who's not married, so nobody here thinks I'm some sort of horrible person. But, okay. but. Uh, But uh, I can't help but yeah, Akshay Kumar because I love the movies he's making and like all his characters. Yeah. Ever since Toilet, I think he's become. I'm actually looking for Lakshmi uh, Bomb. I think yeah, that would be a very good movie. Even Lakshmi Bomb is going to be, and even Surya Vanshi, yeah, like yeah, yeah, Ajay Sir, Ranveer, yeah, and Akshay Sir coming together. I was like, it's going to be. Yeah, and Ajay Devgan and Katrina. Kaif I think they should just we should appeal to them to just release it all online now. I mean, like seriously, guys, <laughs> we need content. Yeah, actually, <laughs> because we can't just watch the movies. <laughs> Nay, I need mean, a lot yeah. of movies. <laughs> and I feel like even after like the lockdown is over, people are still not going to go to the theaters. They're still going to still be a little yeah. bit, you know, like jai ki na jai. Oh, so one one month for sure. But yeah. like, if you if you look at the people right now on the streets, also they're going crazy. Some of them are, are of course going for you know uh, you know for shopping and like not not shopping like you know normal basic uh, essentials and all. But, but they otherwise, are people available, are like, you know. Hmm. And but I've the never day, seen Mumbai so like you know not no traffic at all. All the pictures, what I'm seeing, and all, and it's, I was like, "Wow!" It's hard to believe, right? Like we're the most populated city in India. I mean, it's it's right now. It's just open your eyes as to how one thing can just disrupt your entire life, and I mean, entire life. I just hope this. This is the first time I think something like this ha- has happened. In you know. So my mom uh, tried to act very smart with me. Okay, since I live, she's like, "Oh, you've never been through this. You don't know our halat during the '93 riots." Fully, huh. and huh. she's she feels it's like she's this sudden uh, sort of like disaster huh. genius because she she huh. told me everything to stock up on, and I I actually did it beforehand, and honestly huh. it's it served me the best purpose. I'm not even joking. It's hilarious. Like she's just wow. like no, you need to stock up on milk and you need to put vegetables in the freezer so they last longer. And I'm just huh. like okay, be cool, huh. be cool. <laughs> so our parents have gone through this before, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it's, it's like the reasons were like completely different. But right now, the thing is, yeah. like in that case, of course, like still, like you would be like, okay, okay, fine, things might get into control. Oh, here the problem is that you know you just you don't go know. on the streets and you see coronavirus just roaming around you. Hey, yeah. hi, what's up? I'm entering a body. <laughs> no, it's like, but luckily, if you can, you, you know, honestly, I'm and I'm saying this to all our viewers, just keep right now. Listen to your mothers. Eat the damn vegetables. Have the immunity boosting foods. Just go for it, guys. And Now of course, the time not to actually be smart. Of yeah, course, no, not bats. No, but it it was caused by the pangolin. It was not caused by bats. Okay. It was caused I, by because so pangolin yeah. blood was used huh? in a lot of Chinese medicine, and this has been for like generations and generations. So it's very weird. But now they've stopped the breeding and the capturing of endangered species, and the pangolin huh? was going to go extinct. So suddenly, okay. I don't know. One person came back from some trip or something and had caught a pangolin, used it in some yeah. weird herbal medication, and it's actually from that mammal. It's not from bats, but okay. still, eating bats is creepy and weird. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, I mean, and of course, we are hearing about the Hatna virus, which has taken a long time. What is that now? I'm very. I'm so sorry. I uh, that's caused through uh, like after if if uh, if you know humans uh, are eating uh, you know rodents like uh, rats actually it comes to them. So no one in India, of course, eats rats for sure, and it is something which is not like you know it cannot be transmitted to a, another person. It's not infectious as such. Like you know, you, you might not get it uh, if you know I have it. It's like that. But why yes. would you eat rats? Why? So ch- China, China has a uh, you know a, a market of you know exotic animals, and that does a lot of business over there. So, but didn't they just they, put a ban on eating like? Uh, Animal, like weird animals. Though I did read that somewhere, the China has put a ban on eating some species and some I, animals I now so. after everything. So. Yeah, sense to be. because um, yeah, I mean that's why I think India is very good. Will we stick to our normal yes. meats? Like yeah, even beef is not allowed anymore. So yeah, <laughs> that's why we're pretty sorted. Exactly. So now uh, the question, the next question to you is: Are you single? 
Yeah, very happily. Very happily. Really, <laughs> Listen, I you... think after this lockdown, there's gonna be a lot of more single people because imagine couples together in exactly. lockdown. Exactly. Especially days. like you know, you might uh, hear a lot of cases of you know people separating. I'm gonna and find my couples, one and only now. I can feel it coming. But you know, the good thing would be like you know, people who are in a relationship might not even you know think of you know cheating because they have no options left. They can't. <laughs> they just <laughs> have to. <laughs> they just have to be you home. Can, you can check she can cheat at the end of the day, but imagine <laughs> staying with someone because I I genuinely like my solitude that way. I have yeah. to say, but. Um, I don't think I could stay with someone like this for twenty-one day. I'd I'd kill him. I'd just like you know, like at night sleeping, I'll just take that takya and be like. You're going to be a very bad wife. <laughs> like we have no, to I'll make a sequel to the good as wife. As long as there's a big house, I'll be yeah. a great wife. But if there's a small house, so nahi ho paega. I'm sorry. Nahi ho paega. Oh wow! Look at the demands completely. Like of course, like you know, if I if I get a big house, I'm happy. But you know what? To be fair, the huh. divorce rates right now are extremely high. Don't you think? Like just just thinking in a yeah. house in a normal two bedroom ka ghar, you you yeah. stay in one bedroom. This is without kids. Yeah. I feel like that extra bedroom should just be like that space where you can go to like just to breathe for two seconds. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Now, There's a lot of questions the partners keep on asking each other. And the husband, of course, like yeah. has to be quiet. They have no option left. <laughs> no, I feel like yeah, that way even I'm a very like uh, I am right. Even if I am wrong, I am yeah, right. You're right. The wife is always right. That will be the case for you too. <laughs> okay, the next question for you is: How would someone get your special attention if someone has to get your attention? You have to be funny. I feel like I'm a very uh, funny person. Honestly, I, I really wanted to get into stand-up comedy. By the way, uh, but yeah. So yeah. for me, it's all about that intellect, like intelligence and wit. If you have that, then you've got my heart. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. What has been your best slash worst date? Um. I would like to know the worst date first. Then we can talk about yeah. this. Yeah. Um, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I so love my worst date, but the funniest date I've ever had. So, I was dating someone way back when we broke up in 2015, and I hadn't gone on a date for like a year. Okay, so like 2016, I go on a date with this guy who I've known for a bit, but like we weren't like like romantically involved or anyway. So he asked me out, and I was like, oh, okay, fine. And um, have you ever been to Olive in Bandra? Yes. Okay, so you know that bahar there is a seating area and then there's couch and you're inside. Okay, now exactly. get this. This is my kismat. This is my kismat. So okay, my first date in a year after the yeah. whole a horrible relationship ended, and I'm sitting across this guy and like right here, for example, is the glass window. Like say here, yeah. and yeah. right there is my ex and all oh, his friends. Oh 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 oh! What an awkward situation were you in? <laughs> I have you know I held the menu like this. I had to put it there, and this guy is like, "But what do you do?" And I'm like, "No, no, no, no." He thought I never heard from him again. He huh. thought I was the weirdest girl ever. Okay, it was. You should have. Oh, I have. I have like, yeah, yeah. Like you know, I'm really broken up with the first. And the, the, I didn't bump into him. I ran. Oh, yeah, I was like, but that's did he I see you? Did he, did he see you though? I have no idea, but I know all of those people were like constantly looking into our table to see. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, I mean, that's just that kidki that the glass uh, window. And there's huh. a footpath to go to the bathroom, and then your table is right there outside. So they were outside, and we were inside, and like oh right. Oh God! Oh <laughs> God! It was horrible. It was horrible. I and I really liked this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like I swear he thought I was on something. He was just like, "Put." I was like, "No." <laughs> it's just it's a delicate situation. Do you like Coke? <laughs> I like the drink. Otherwise, I, I like the. <laughs> He might be. He might be thinking about that. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. I'm sure he thought I was on some yeah. sort of drug or some sort of yeah. nasha. Love like the way because that menu card itself. I was just like, it was this. Okay. This. I'm not joking. Yeah. Oh God. And he's just That's like. Funny. And the best date for you? Um, the best date. I don't think like I've always had funny dates. Thinking okay. about, it. I don't know. I don't really like date date, but like this one guy. Um. So I went out on a date with, but it was just like, and it was a nice motorcycle ride actually. Hmm. So more than oh, wow. a date, it was cute. just yeah, it was cute. That's cute. If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? Um. If, right. yeah. if I had to, yeah. uh, 
you, you do know I already changed my name from Amy to Amira. So guys, you, you I really don't know now. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 you're done with it. No, you're I'm done with the name changing. Oh, yeah. But um, you could call me your Royal Highness if you want. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's very classy for sure. <laughs> if you want. I mean, Would you ever date a fan? Um, yeah, I mean, what's the difference for all human beings, right? That's true. Uh, I think many of these fans right now who are actually writing a lot of things for you might be very happy to your Hello. List. <laughs> okay, they all might be very happy now. That's yeah, sweet, they all though. are very happy. <laughs> but I, I feel like I've got very good fans. Like, even when I see the comments on my Instagram and all that, they're very well behaved and they're awesome and they write some really nice supportive things. So, thank you guys. Wow. Who's the messiest person you know? My brother. He's disgusting. Okay. You know, so we, we, we grew up very middle class. And uh, now he's working in London. But we, we, we shared the same bedroom for like, uh, till we were 15. That typical bhai band thing. And we yeah. hated each other. Matlab, like, yeah. he has pulled my hair. I, have, I, I used to grow my nails really long. Okay. Just so I could like, scratch him, you know. And like, I would make him bleed. Yeah, we were, we were party. Full party, okay. khanda, and like uh. it, it was bad. And uh, so yeah, so we shared the same room and everything. So on purpose, I'm not joking. And mm. I, like I said, I'm OCD hygienic. Like I will go yeah. have two showers a day. I'm not. And he's the opposite. He didn't shower for five yeah. days. Oh god. And he could, okay. could, and yeah, because we and we shared the bed, nah. Mm. So mm. yeah, that's what he did to me, just to oh, just god. to mess with me. And he would. St- I had to sleep on the floor on the fourth day. I'm not joking. I couldn't deal. And I, I begged my mother, I was like, Ma, he's not having a shower. And he's just like, I know, I'm <laughs> pissing her off. <laughs> so yeah, that's my brother. What would you like to be remembered about you? Um, Just that... I don't know, yeah, I'm only 25, guys. Why are you making me write my obituary? <laughs> um, but, um, but like if people have to talk was... about you. That I was always spontaneous and I always did what my heart told me to do. So, yeah. Yeah, even like, way, you know, when you're alive, like basically like, if people uh, are talking about you, what you would prefer, you know, them talking about you. So, like, yeah, just that. Just that I'm spontaneous and I always followed my heart. Yeah, I think that's a nice one. That's nice, actually. Who's your inspiration? Um, Kangana Rano. Okay, that's nice. You have worked with her in Judgmental Hekia. How was it? I have and I loved her. She yeah. was she was honestly somebody who was always very, very kind to me. And she's actually a very funny person. I mean, if you've spoken to her, you'd realize she's got a really good sense of humor. Yeah. And um, she's very smart. She's one of the most intelligent women I've met. And I, I've i always actually been a fan of hers. So when I worked with her the first time, I was very starstruck. So I kind of got yeah. a little at code on my lines and everything. And anyway, being Parsi, my Hindi is not the strongest. So uh, yeah. she only, she was just like, Are, chill ya. Mm-hmm. Say your lines, come, let's rehearse. And I thought that was pretty cool, you know, someone in that kind of a position to actually like, just be like, listen, chill out. It's okay. Yeah. It was really sweet of her. So yeah, I love her. Very really nice of her. That was nice. How was your working experience with her though? Throughout the I had a great time years. working with her. Yeah. Lovely. She's really, it was really fun though. She's really like, yeah. uh, she it's a very nicely character. made movie for sure. And uh, trippy. It's right? very trippy. Very trippy. Like, and especially the end. Uh, what a twist. Yes. What did you <laughs> did you feel bad when you saw me? Did you feel bad? I, I really felt bad. Of course, like I was like, what the f? <laughs> did that really no. happen to you? Um. Well, I'm all good right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, she she was very cool, and seeing her in action was a lot of fun, and. I don't know. I feel like that whole movie because it was so quirky, and it was also the same producer who produced my first film, Issa. Mm. So it kind of felt like home territory. There were a lot of crew members who I'd met before, and mm. um, I think she's also worked with Shailesh a lot. She did Tanu with Manu with Shailesh as well. Mm. So yeah, it, it just felt like going in and out. And we shot in Bandra, so okay. we shot like literally 20 minutes away from my house, and mm. I'm in town. I'm a townie, by mm. the way. So yeah. it was like, I mean, the mall, so it was just very chill. It was like, come, go. Even okay, I'm townie, so there. I'm sure I'm meeting you. Where? Somewhere. I stay in Fort. I stay in Beach Candy. I grew yeah. up in Kaf. Hi, guys. We all know where, you, where do we stay. It's not like you're not going to come visit us now. I mean, that yeah. would be pretty silly. You but know. yes, of course, we can meet after, you know, a few, a few months. We should, I, you should have totally Definitely. like come over like a, a week ago before the lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> now, life after quarantine, quarantine phase. Quarantine. I mean. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> completely quarantined. What is your totally. favorite movie? Mm, my favorite. So you want Hindi or you want English? Both. Both. Oh, uh, crap. Um, Hindi movie, Hindi movie, Hindi movie, Hindi movie. Uh, well, I loved Omkara hmm. when it first came out. I actually became a very big Saif Ali Khan fan after that film more than anything because him as Langda Tyagi was just sick, and it's one of my favorite Vishal Bharadwaj films. Hmm. Um, otherwise, I loved Ram Leela. I just loved okay. it, like vibrant colors and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a full like Masi kind of person. Yeah. Then, in recently, I really liked Bala. I hmm. loved Badai Ho. And uh, Shubh Mangal Sa- Zavdan, but I haven't seen like Shubh Mangal Zyada Zavdan, and I really want to see. I'm so yet to watch. Even I'm yeah, na. Yes. Even yeah. I want to see it. I'm just like, come I on, guys. I, I just hope now it comes on, like you know, on uh, one of the OTT platforms for sure. It'll come in. And then, time, yeah, sure. and then it might be. Now, what is your favorite song? Um. So right now, song. I'm tripping on "What a Man Got to Do" by the Jonas Brothers. But um, in Hindi, I still love Ilahi from uh, from. Oh my God! From Ye Jawani Diwani. Ye Jawani and Diwani. Ye Jawani and Diwani. Okay, okay. What is the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Um, no, nothing. One fan actually drew me a really nice sketch and sent it across through a friend of mine. So mm-hmm. I thought it was like the we are actually having to be minute. Oh, uh, wow, that's nice. This, this one. Wow, that's very beautiful. So wow. yeah, so this was like yeah, this is one of the best things the fan has ever ever done for me. But yeah, otherwise it's never been weird or anything. The weirdest thing a fan has ever asked of me though was like, can you send me pictures of your feet? Okay. Yeah. I didn't do it. Hmm. Okay. Of your feet. Of my feet. Yeah, feet. Some different kind of fetish for sure. What Definitely. is your biggest fear? Just fear. Um, I have a crazy fear of flying. Crazy. Acha. Okay. Like I, no, I fear. actually start sweating from my palms, and I've like held yeah. like during turbulence and all this mess. Like, oh my god! And for the this is my kismat. I yeah. fly in the rainy season a lot. For some reason, okay. there's a lot of work and shoots come in the rainy season yeah. for me. Hmm. So I'm holding on to this thing, and I'm like. literally <laughs> chanting my parsi prayer and the passenger next to me is probably chill they okay. start developing anxiety seeing me because i am horrible i'm like oh. i get a goa flight and i get palpitations hmm. oh my god okay <laughs> what would be your superpower oh uh, my super honestly invisibility yeah i really wish i had it could mess with so many people so yeah. many people and i think that will not even upset corona virus Oh uh, no! You never know. I mean, I'll still get it, but uh, yeah. you never know. He might. It might not even be able to see you. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never know. But still, but being invisible, I think, could be a lot of fun, though. But there's one interesting question by a fan. What if you yes. get SRK's house, Shah Rukh's house, Shah Rukh Khan's house? What if I get it? Man, I'll invite all of you guys over for a night. Nice, uh, <laughs> then you'll have to come from town to Bandra also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that I mean you know when you're isolated in houses like that I think it's it that's just like where else would you want to be isolated you know Exactly <laughs> like what else could you ask for <laughs> What would you name a boat if you had one Um a boat I I think I'd just call it the Ronnie because my father has always wanted a boat don't know why we are thick and his okay. name is Rohington so yeah i've called it the ronny wow okay what what is one body part that you wouldn't mind losing so i wouldn't mind losing yes um guys yeah start loving yourself but if you if you have to have to have to have to ask me i say my little love handles that i've been working on at home here okay <laughs> that's it okay what is the worst purchase you have ever made Um, worst purchase I have ever ever made were, uh, you know, online. If you're looking at sunglasses and all, and sometimes you think it looks better than it actually, like it looks good online. So there was this yes. really hideous pair of sunglasses, hideous when you okay. very first did, and I was so excited, and I was like waiting, and I was like the package is arriving, and then I opened it, and I was like, okay. <laughs> 
Okay, and what is the dumbest way you have been injured? Ali is online. Sorry. Yes, and he's, he's just enjoying random chats, random live chats. That's good. Idiot. Next, we are getting him live. <laughs> Easy you answer. Should. You all should. I'll give you all the questions. You should ask him. He's a big yeah, boss actually, in Mumbai. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> tough questions, actually. Give some tough questions for him. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put him in the spot. <laughs> We definitely will. I think he's suddenly gone. See, he got scared. <laughs> so yeah, what is uh, the? Of course, no. Which one? Who are the body part? Every day, Amira trips on Ali. I will slap you. Are you mad? High <laughs> on trips. Okay. That's nice. You're tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping right now. I'm tripping on solitude. Oh yeah. Every day, Amira trips on something. Cool. That's nice to know. What is the dumbest way you have been injured? Um. Oh. oh so uh, I was wearing a pair of jeans, and I was obviously fighting on my uh, fighting with my mother on my phone. Oh. And uh, I, I definitely because I fell down and I snapped something on my foot. and i didn't say anything and i was going on with it and like my foot started swelling up i mean my foot foot yeah. so yeah. it started swelling up and it was purple near the toes and i don't know it was weird and then for 3 days my dad was like can you come to the hospital and get an x ray come to the hospital and get an x ray yeah and i was like no but then by the fifth day i actually couldn't put any weight on it so i was like this is weird so i went to the hospital and uh, he's standing behind the x ray screen Yeah. Oh, and suddenly he screams in front of all his orderlies and all. He was like, "You idiot! It's a hairline fracture!" Oh goodness! Okay, that must be very bad. Hairline fractures. That was hilarious, though. I, yeah. I think more than the pain, I died laughing because my father is is poker face. He is someone yeah. who can like, yeah, like one of those, like very correct, <laughs> very. And for him to lose his shit now that day, and like in front of all his like staff and nurses and all was. It was a privilege Why? to watch. Honestly, I'm glad I got that little fracture. <laughs> Have you ever tripped in public? Yeah, but then you know, like you try to do that thing where you stand up and you pretend like nothing happened and you're just like you know whatever. So yeah. that I've done. Yeah, okay. but I yeah, I have a like thing like, like yeah, like but I laugh happened. at people who fall. I've laughed at my mother when she's fallen. I can't falling people. <laughs> it's just for me. It's a it's that a I cry. I cry. Right? That happens to me. Yeah, that happens it's to me. It's really funny, dude. It's okay. And sometimes I do feel like you know making a video out of it. Like, you know, if it's a friend, friend, you know, like chalo, kuch karte. I think we both are making my own mother. Yeah, <laughs> I will help you, but as soon as I finish laughing. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, and what is the most useless talent you have? Um, the most useless talent. Uh, singing probably because I yeah. can't do it. It's like if yeah. I if I sing for you, I don't like you. Okay, okay, okay. I, I would never ask you to sing. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. advise it. But do you sing in shabo? In the shabo? Uh, actually, I practice my Hindi dialogues in my shabo more than singing. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, come on, come on, come on. It's easier. But yeah, I like dancing in the shabo though. Like okay. blasting my speakers and all because I I I don't want to hear my own voice singing. Of course. <laughs> I, I think so many of us, unless like you know, if we had a voice like Shreya Ghoshal or you know. But I love how people are so disillusioned though nowadays that they think they're very good singers and they're just not. And I'm just well, like, you must see the TikTok videos. I love TikTok videos. It's the only <laughs> thing that's keeping me entertained right now. Oh yeah, there 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 are a lot of you know fun videos over there. The kind of videos yeah. they're making, the content. I mean, really, it's very good. I mean, India has got talent. India is very creative when we have to be that way, you know. But that way we've always been good at jugard. I have to say, India is one yeah. country. I mean, like, how can we get it? Will it get it? That's like that's for sure. you just have to sit and just figure how to cheat the other person a little bit. <laughs> so, okay, the last question for you: What is the weirdest question you have been asked? Mm, when I'm gonna get married? I don't understand why people like want to know that. Like, the why? The age of twenty-five. Who gets married? <laughs> It's it's not even that, but it's just like like what is it to you, my friend? Huh. <laughs> like how in any way does that make any difference to your life? Just imagine that question has been asked to Salman. So Everyone, many times. but I I feel like I feel like with Salman now he he's been asked it so many times he has the best answers also. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like right now. Come back to it like you when when they ask you such questions and on. No, I'm right still. Now. First time I got very upset. Then second time I was just like. Hmm. Then third time I was like, Q. You wanna ask me, and then he said yes, and then I was like, you know, best to just keep shut. 
but like have you been asked such questions like by you know by any of your relatives and all um so my bua is kind of old school so yeah uh my mom and dad not really i think my my dad keeps saying i pity your husband yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your dad so he's like that and me yeah, but my mom is always been very clear she's like no don't get married before you're 30 and she was just like get to know the person for a year at least uh that way she's very very smart she even she she actually recommends living in with people before yeah. you marry them because uh, nowadays with the divorce rate being what it is yeah especially in india the cases are yeah. increasing a lot can you believe it? india india it's, is yeah. going through like a yeah. see after this lockdown i'm sure there'll be more yeah 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 we we are going to read that news i think i'll share it with you i mean am i right yeah we were right the prediction goes right completely <laughs> divorce cases beat covid divorce cases divorce cases yeah completely like divorce cases are like on some another different like we'll be actually talking about those cases acha iska bhi ho gaya ah kya baat hai we'll be like the those in agni ans we then start we can start choosing our jeevan sathi then we'll be like ah iska ho gaya uska ho gaya acha oh oh god but i i really had a lovely chat with you thank you so much for your lovely time i had you know i've never laughed so much on one of my you know all these you know live chats and on of course with amana uh, yeah i'm not tripping but i'm just enjoying the conversation for sure maybe i'm with you so i'm tripping for sure yeah maybe it's, it's a good trip it's a healthy <laughs> trip <laughs> it's a good trip for sure thank you so much for your lovely thank time you. all the best for your projects hope to see you soon thank and you. hope we we are together in this and hope we just you know conquer this soon <laughs> thank you, you so much amira bye and thank care. you bye bye